Hello, everybody. This is Acadian Jammer, and uh, welcome to episode six of the Ultimate Terraria tutorial series. Um, in the last episode, we started our elevator, and uh, we found um, some ore. We found some copper ore, which is our uh, <clears throat> lowest grade ore. And then we found also found some iron ore, which is a little better than uh, copper. And even better, we found some silver ore. We found 34 silver ore. And there's uh, one that's even better than that, and that's gold ore, which we need to find. And we'll find more of that uh, probably in the, in the lower depths. Um, we also uh, explored some caves, and we discovered a booby trap right up here, which uh, I could have deactivated if I had seen the pressure plate up here, but they're so hard to spot. As soon as I stepped on that pressure plate that big rock fell on top of my head and killed me uh, sometimes these pressure plates are hooked up to other uh, mechanisms such as uh, uh, dart traps which are a lot less painful than those big rocks that fall on top of your head uh, so i think what we're going to do today is we're going to uh, first of all pick up this amethyst and uh, explore this uh, underground cabin uh, un uh, underground cabins are great. There's a lot of nice loot in there, so we'll find out what's there. Uh, but before we do that, let's take a look at what uh, the new items we got in the last episode. Uh, we got some stone blocks, which are useful to making uh, a few different recipes. But the one I'm going to be making today is the furnace. We got a brown pressure plate uh, that we got from the booby trap, and I can maybe maybe we'll do a, a booby trap of my own with that. We got some clay blocks to make some clay pots so we can start our garden. Uh, what else did we get? Let's see. I believe and we got the ore. We got a worm, uh, which is a better bait than the uh, butterfly, which is, has 10% bait power. The worm has 25 Fireflies uh, have 20% bait power, so that's another uh, bait for fishing. We got uh, lesser healing potions. We got two of those. Uh, those restore 50 life points, whereas the mushrooms only restores 15. So uh, the lesser healing potion is much better. And we can use that. We can craft a better potion using the, uh, the lesser healing potion. I'll show you how to do that later. And we got some shurikens, which are, uh, it's a throwing, um, a, th a throwing weapon. It's, uh, it has uh, 10 throwing damage, 4% critical strike, very fast speed, but no knockback. And, uh, I don't know if I want to waste one, but, uh, they do follow the laws of gravity. I will, I will throw one. I might lose it. Uh, anytime you throw a shuriken, whether it hits an enemy or not, it has, uh, you ha it has 50% chance of being, uh, uh, return to you. So I'm going to throw one. That one stayed. I'm going to keep it. Okay. All right. Let's uh, pick up this amethyst. And I know uh, I watched the uh, episode five earlier and I missed a whole bunch of ore and I promise I will get that later. Okay. Let's get that money. Two bombs. Awesome. I like bombs. Uh, let's go down this. Oh, this is cobweb. I can collect that. Wow, all kinds of pots up here. Okay, so uh, the cobweb can be used in different recipes. I ran out of torches. Let's make some more. Uh, with... Let's make a whole stack. Oh, what did I do? Okay. With... Uh, Oh, I don't know what's going on here. Okay, what was I going to say? Uh, with cobweb, you can make silk. And uh, you need silk to make a bed if I want to change my spawn point, which I do because right now I'm spawning uh, inside the floor. This is a chest. Now, uh, these underground cabins, you can find these uh, everywhere across the world. And they match the biome you're in. Okay, so uh, this is a forest biome. Uh, the, uh, and you'll find, uh, the golden chest in there. Uh, let's get that. Let's open up the chest first. Okay. Let's look at it. Oh, wow. We got an achievement. I am loot. This is a boomerang. It's an enchanted, enchanted boomerang. 
15 melee damage, 4% critical strike, very fast speed, very strong knockback. And it's a ruthless enchanted boomerang, which gives it uh, plus 15 um, damage. It's a ruthless enchanted boomerang, so plus 15 damage, but minus 10 knockback. That's, that's a shame. But uh, I'll have to demonstrate that. We'll have to. So what else is in there? We have 10 platinum bars. Uh, platinum is the highest grade ore. It's a higher grade ore than um, the uh, silver. It's the fourth grade. So in this world, we're either going to find platinum or gold. So I'm guessing we're going to find platinum in this world. These are flaming arrows. They give you seven damage, uh, range damage versus the five damage from the wooden arrows. Uh, <clears throat> these can be crafted with torches and wooden arrows. We'll grab those. These are healer, healing potions. Uh, they're more powerful than this variety, which is the lesser healing potion. This restores 50 life. This one restores 100. Okay. And this is the teleportation portion. potion. We have two of those. Uh, the Teleports you to a random location. So <laughs> I think we're going to use one of those today if we have time. Okay, so if you want to pick everything that's in here, you can click on loot all. All right. And I'm going to take that chest. Uh, chest furniture items are taken with uh, with your pickaxe. Okay, and I'm going to take that chandelier. Okay, it's a platinum chandelier. We can either install it in our house or sell it. Now, <clears throat> these... Oh, we have another NPC. Otten, the, demolish, the demolitionist, has arrived. The reason uh, we, we have the demolition, demolitionist arrive is that we've uh, finally met the condition to have him uh, arrive. And that is to have... Oops. Oh, 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 oh. I have... Okay. Now, uh, those two came out of nowhere. And I'll, I'll tell you why. Uh, but yeah, I was talking about the demolitionist. Uh, we have, because we got the bombs, right? Where are the bombs? Do we get grenades in here? No, it's because of the bombs. And uh, maybe the shurikens, maybe? No, it's the bombs. Once you get uh, uh, an explosive uh, or a gun or a bullet, anything like that. Uh, no, I'm sorry, uh, an explosive. Then we get the demolition. The demolitionist uh, can move in as long as the uh, as long as the merchant is already there. I think I'll have to check on that. Okay, so here <laughs> we have a statue, and right next to that statue is a pressure plate. And I'll show you what happens when I walk on that pressure plate. Okay, <laughs> these guys come out. They're uh, undead Vikings. Okay, and that's an undead Viking statue. So this is a booby trap. So we may be, uh, we may use that uh, statue later to create a, a mob farm. So let's get that statue. It's an ended Viking statue, and let's get the pressure plate. Why not? Okay. Now uh, <clears throat> these underground cabins are—they're in rough shape. Like there's, uh, you see, there's stuff missing here. Like there's a piece of the wall missing. Uh, the back, some of the back wall is missing. So this is definitely not a suitable house, and we can check. Uh, by going to the housing, housing query. This housing is missing a chair, obviously. Okay, so, like, we could make this suitable, but if we do that, uh, we'll attract NPCs down here, and I don't want my NPCs to be down uh, in the caverns. I want them to be in my house. I want them all to be in the same place. So we're not going to do that, right? So, uh, I was thinking, instead of, uh, I think we'll explore down here a little later i think what i want to do is go back up to the surface and we might explore if it's light out we we might want to explore uh the surface a little more let's get that's platinum awesome platinum is uh the equivalent of gold this iron and what is this that's also iron all right so we get one platinum out of that. Oh, I, okay. I thought I couldn't reach. Now I know I missed <laughs> a few. Oh, look at this. This is a uh, granite elemental. 
They're a little tough to beat, but not so bad. Like, uh, they're very, very easy to knock back. They take a while to, to kill, especially with a wooden sword. I need a better sword. And these will, these will drop money and a granite block, usually. And uh, sometimes they might have other drops, I forget. Uh, okay, this takes a while to kill. Like I said, they're they're res they're rather easy to kill, but they take a long time. There's a cave vat coming. Cave vat gives they give a lot of money. One ah, oh, not too much that time. One silver, one copper. Oh, better than nothing, right? Come on, granite elemental, die! Give me something, your loot. Okay, one gra six granite blocks and nine silver. That's not too bad. Uh, how am I going to get up here? I'm going to need to put a platform. Okay. You know, like we come down here and sometimes it's hard to figure out the way up. Jeez. Uh, I'm going to need to... Oh. Do that. Oops. Let's jump on here. Do I want that copper? Nah. Alright, now I'm gonna need to let's do this here. That's another way to do it. And let's do this. Oh, I ran out of platforms. Let's make some more. Okay. It's nice to have plenty of wood. Now I can put those platform, platforms directly onto the dirt walls as you as we both discovered at the same time. Now I saw yesterday that I'd missed some kind of ore over here. I'm gonna grab, oops. I'm gonna grab it, it's up here. Or is that just rock, is that just stone? iron let's grab that oh I think it's night out darn it okay well what we'll do then is we'll craft we'll start crafting some of our new armor and weapons with all this ore we've got but <clears throat> I'm going to need to build uh, a couple of crafting new crafting stations first oh look at all this iron this is a pretty big vein okay let's light up can't see anything really. Let's grab all this iron. And the reason I know it's night out is because of the music you're hearing in the background. That's nighttime music. Okay. Every biome has a different music, but there's also uh, different music for uh, day and night. Okay, I need to jump here. Here. And I also I had also missed that. How could I miss that? Right, let's go up. Oops. Let's go up here. And let's keep on going like this. There. Oh, I didn't have to do that on the dirt wall. Oh well. It's just wood, right? <clears throat> Some iron ore. I think I'm beginning to uh, distinguish the iron from the silver. It's not the iron that's shinier, it's the silver. I think. The stone. Okay, now let's go back up and let's start crafting. Let's, uh, the first thing we're going to do when we're up there, we're going to build a furnace. We're going to craft a furnace, which is our next crafting station. We only have one crafting station so far. I like to put them all next to each other. So to build a furnace, you walk up to your workbench and uh, your furnace should be in the menu. Okay, why don't I just click here? Uh, here it is, that's the furnace. Okay, it's used to for smelting ore. So we need 20 stone blocks, four woods and three torches. So we have enough, okay. Uh, Let's put that in our hotbar. We're going to set that down right next to our workbench, right here. Okay. Uh, now that we have that, another... Okay, now that we have that, we can smelt ore. So, look. See all these bars? We can smelt 
some copper bars, iron bars, and silver bars. So let's smelt all of the copper. Eight bars. All of the iron. Oh, nice. 29 bars. I'm sure we can craft something with that. And silver. How many? Eight. Okay. Now, now that we have bars, we can craft our next, uh, with the iron bars, we can craft our next uh, crafting station, which is the anvil, the iron anvil. We need five iron bars. We have plenty. We have 29. So let's build that. Achievement, heavy metal. Okay. Let's place that right next to our workbench. Okay, let's check the time. Yeah, let's see. 15 minutes. Okay. I don't want to make this video too long. So um, I I might end soon. So we'll craft. Let's cra let's see what we can craft now that we have these, uh, these crafting stations. Let's uh, open up our crafting window. And uh, we have a few more options now. We can craft uh, an iron broadsword, which is 10 melee weapon. So it's two more than our boreal wood. So we might craft that. Uh, we can't craft any much armor. We can craft the iron helmet. The uh, armor takes a lot of bars to craft. So uh, the iron helmet takes 20 bars. And uh, that's two defense instead of our one defense. So it's a little better. Um, what else can we craft, which would be worth it? Uh, let's see, purple torch. Uh, the purple torch is uses uh, the amethyst and the torch. Oh, the campfire. Okay, let's make a campfire. That's uh, very useful. The campfire uses uh, ten wood and five torches. I should have done that from the beginning. Uh, the campfire gives us uh, a buff. A, a bit like the sunflower does. Where should I put the fire? Why don't I put it up here? Can I do that? Yeah. Okay. So now that I put, I set that down, uh, you can see this little icon appeared. It's called Cozy Fire. Life regen is slightly increased. So as long as I'm in range, if I get hurt, I will regenerate faster. But uh, if I get away from that campfire, oh, see, I'm, I'm too far away now. Let's pick up that star. Uh, then uh, it, I don't regenerate as fast. Okay. All right. So let's uh, craft. So we got the campfire, rope coil, web web rope. We can make some rope out of uh, cobweb instead of uh, just the the rope that we find in chests. Uh, sticky bombs are kind of useful. Well, I, I'm not going to go through all these uh, right now. I just want to get uh, maybe some new. Maybe a new sword. Okay, let's get a new sword for now. Let's get an iron sword. Because I don't think I can get... Wait a second, I can make a platinum sword? It needs... All I need is eight bars and I have exactly eight bars. Let's make a platinum sword. Or should I make a platinum pickaxe? Oh, platinum. Oh, let's see. I don't. Even, I'm not even sure if I can make the platinum pickaxe. Oh, I can't. I don't have enough uh, s enough uh, platinum. Uh, all right. Well, let's make the platinum broadsword. Okay, that will replace my uh, my wood sword much better. Seventeen melee damage instead of uh, eight, <laughs> and it's uh, it's got four percent critical strike. It's very fast speed, average knockback. Now this is a savage platinum sword, which uh, is awesome because it gives me plus 13% damage, plus 10% size, so it's got a longer reach, and plus 10% knockback. That is an awesome, awesome sword. All right, guys, uh, I think we're gonna end the video here for today, and uh, next time we'll probably uh, do some more crafting and uh, maybe uh, explore the surface if the day can uh, get here the daytime. All right. Well, thanks for watching. And if you like this video, please uh, click, press on that like button and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks. Okay. Bye.